Embroidery designs which comprise of very small flowers and leaves are probably the most versatile designs that you can work with. The Sweet Innocence collection is full of designs exactly like this and you can see here on my screen that I have combined quite a few of the smaller designs in the collection to create this big combination which is being stitched out in my 360 by 260 hoop. So far I have stitched out two colours. I've done some silver light silver leaves and I've just used the dark, the, it's not a dark green, um, I've just used Sulky Rayon 1209 which is one of the avocado shades to do the little details which go behind the flowers. I am aiming to create a lovely all over pattern but to do it in different colours than what have been assigned to the designs in the collection and when I do this ad hoc I call it embroidering by numbers because basically every time I stitch out a colourway I ignore the colour which is showing on my screen and I decide which what I'm going to stitch next. Now as you can see here I've got some very delicate little flowers to stitch next. The designs tell me to stitch them in 1229, which is a very light olive colour, but I'm going to go for something entirely different and I think I will choose a nice lemony colour. When they're stitched out, I'll show you the results and we'll decide what we're going to do for the next colour. As you can see, it's a very large block here that has been assigned a pale blue, but I'm trying to do something on a yellow theme but not too bright so when I've stitched those out we'll discuss what colour we're going to stitch next. I've stitched a little bit more now of the design and I just wanted to show you something. I almost stitched this this thread here which is 1825 but I decided it was too much like the, the background, the cream silk upon which we are doing this uh, embroidery. So I decided not to do that. I've, see, I've done the little flowers. Now these actually, are, they're two-tone. We're going to do the other part of them. The, the first part I did in a little primrose light um, light yellow which is 1061 in the sulky rayon range and then for the bigger blossoms here which have got the little green detail behind them i used 1068 and isn't that a beautiful buttercup yellow and it's really set off nicely against the cream silk Lighter colours should be chosen for bigger flowers and darker colours should be chosen for smaller flowers. But I've not done that this time around. So I'm sorry, I'm going to have to trim this because it's annoying me. For some reason or other, there's some jump stitches in this combination. I don't want to go, I don't want to make too, con too much of a contrast with these. Um... I'm definitely going for the golds. I, th I wonder if that will work. Well, there's a part of me that says, well, we won't know if it'll work unless we try it. Um, I'm standing here looking at my yellows and my immediate reaction is I haven't got enough. Never have enough uh, thread. Perhaps could go a little bit no, I think I'll try this this tan, which is 1055, and see how it looks. I made a mistake there, actually, and got confused about the flowers in this embroidery. Um, the little flowers 
do not have another one. It's the bigger ones. As you can see, we have these curved flowers which have been stitched out using the tan. So now they're complete, we've got to choose another colour to go alongside these curved petals. After much deliberation, I opted for a slightly darker gold, which is 1819. I hope you like the results. We have to decide what colour to do the biggest flowers in these embroidery designs. And I've randomly picked four colours to see whether they'll be suitable. Let me just take the camera over to the machine. And you can see these are quite big sort of daisy type uh, designs. And then there are lots of little fill stitches go in afterwards. So, oops, what should we go for? Well, first of all, I look, thought of doing something really outlandish. Um, trying to keep with the colour scheme that we've got. Whoops. And going for a sort of gold there. Let's just bring the uh, camera out a bit. Probably not a good idea. Although you can see why I've picked it up. Then I thought, well, let's go for something entirely different. And I've got this nice flesh coloured one. Or if that's too dark, there's a slightly lighter one there. Or we can just go for something simple like green. So what do you think? Or shall I get something else off the uh, off the racks here? Um, I mean, obviously we don't want to go too pink and blue wouldn't work. The reason I pulled the green out was that there is no green in this. And sometimes green flowers are quite nice, but I don't know, I'm not convinced. Um, if you could, if you could all hear me, we could make a decision. I don't, as I was saying earlier on, big flowers need to be lighter, so we won't put that one on. I think this one is too, too pink, too red, too, it's got, it's too much of a contrast. So we're left with these and I could pick up another green that's not quite so pale. No, oh, this is being difficult. Oh, well, perhaps it's me that's being difficult. I do apologize if there's loads of weird noises happening. Now that green looks quite nice. I'm going to show I'm going to choose that green and uh, and show you what I mean about green flowers because some flowers are green, aren't they? After all that, I did actually choose the lighter green that I first bought to the embroidery and I used that to stitch out the daisy-like flowers as you can see here and it worked quite well and on reflection I thought well what am I going to actually do for the final stitch out which is the centre of all the embroidery flowers and I actually decided to go for the darker green the avocado green which I used originally behind the petals of the buttercup colour flowers. And that worked reasonably well, as you can see. Welcome back. And here we can look at the finished embroidery. I do apologise that I was so hesitant about the colours. You can understand now why Sometimes choosing the colours for my designs takes, as me, takes me as much time as the digitising. But I think you'll agree I've got quite a rich embroidery uh, colour scheme here. And as you can see, the, uh, the green works very well in the centre of the flowers. It just adds 
a contrast to all the yellow uh, and I'm really pleased with that. Now as I look at this I think wow look at that design at the top why don't I do something completely different and try seeing how what happens if I embroider that out on the neck round the neckline of a t-shirt 